after Archer Aviation bottomed back in December. Price has gone up over 300 plus percent. However, after hitting my short term target at 750 ish, price is pulling back to an area that was resistance, which should serve as support now. And the question is is Archer Aviation a lame duck? Or is the pullback an opportunity to get long to see price make its next impulse move higher to the ultimate target at $10? This research report is coming from Grizzly Research, and they believe Archer Aviation is a lame duck. Now, who is Grizzly Research? Well, they focus on producing differentiated research insight on publicly traded companies through in-depth due diligence. They find that management teams are making conscious efforts to hide negative aspects from the public amidst Wall Street's perpetual buy rating machine. And there's no one to call them out except for a la Grizzly Research. So let's get into the research paper. A couple of bullet points company has made a series of misrepresentations, the latest of which being a contract awarded from the Department of Defense, which led to a 40% run up in the stock. The DOD contracts Archer Aviation received is a non-competitive award with indefinite quantity and indefinite delivery, meaning the revenue could also be minimal and is also capped at $1.3 million. Um, for 2023. Archer Aviation's CEO has stated that Archer is conducting daily test flights, sometimes multiple times per day. However, Archer frequently uploads new videos that showcase flight testing. Grizzly's research shows that Archer is recycling heavily edited videos of their early test flights to portray longer flight performance, more frequent testing, and a generally more advanced product in reality. All right, so we're going to get into some of the um, bullet points, uh, research content that Grizzly Research did. All right, so weeks ago they announced a partnership with Whisk slash Boeing. Uh, Boeing only invested a measly seven million in Archer and received close to ten times its investment in free shares. In other words, besides the high single digit discount provided to them via this private placement, Whisk Boeing is also getting a, a gigantic amount of free shares, all of which will be fully vested in the next six months, while 4.5 million were immediately vested. So what they're saying here is that um, this partnership has diluted shareholder value essentially. Archer has been discreetly diluting investors to please both partners with tens of millions of free shares while releasing those shares from their vesting milestone schedule and freeing the counterparty from its obligations along with that release. It's a very thorough <laughs> analysis. All right. Then you got uh, Stellantis, who invested in Archer. Initially became an investor in Archer in 2021, and as part of the recent expansion of their strategic relationship, in addition to their manufacturing partnership, they have committed up to an additional $150 million equity capital for Archer to draw upon at their option between now and the end of 2024. However, when looking deeper into the agreements, Grizzly found that Archer submitted an equity line of up to 150 million worth of stocks at a 10% discount with high contingency milestones. The colorful feathers of this deal portray not just passing interest, but Stellanus' deep involvement with Archer. But under the feathers, they only had to buy 25 million worth of stock at a discount, as the other 125 million are contingent upon milestones linked to the Archer obtaining its airworthiness certificate for their final conforming aircraft midnight and the full transition flight of their non-conforming or conforming version which if it happens would be much later next year again an example of diluting shareholder value all right 
One way in which Archer manipulates its content is through the recycling of clips and images which are often completely unchanged from previous versions, in some instances more than a year after it was shot. The company simply modifies colors and adds visual effects to give viewers the impression that the content is new and or different. All right. Despite monitoring the exact location where the maker purportedly flies regularly, our investigator was unable to identify the aircraft at all. We inquired with employees from other companies at the airport who informed us that they had only seen the aircraft once. An employee said that this single incident was a long time ago, probably around December 2021 slash January 2022. Most people told us that they had no idea about the company or the aircraft. Considering the airport's small scale, all workers at the site would have been able to see an aircraft of the maker's size, especially if it was flying every day as reported. Is Conclusions Grizzly consulted with multiple FAA experts, and the conclusion is that the most optimistic timeline to commercial launch is not next year, it's four to five years at the earliest, or most likely 2028 or beyond. As a one-off manufacturer aircraft, Midnight cannot be type certified. That burden will have to be carried by Midnight One or aircraft currently unbuilt that follows. Rigorous FAA inspection of the manufacturing facility, including certification of all the subsystems manufacturing to FAA production standards will be required. That certification activity cannot commence until a production facility is production ready. Some of the rules of the FAA certification process are not expected to be finalized before the end of 2024. However, Archer's Chief Growth and Infrastructure Officer thinks that commercial flight of Archer is on schedule for 2025. Let's listen in. Well, imagine being able to fly over an entire city and all of the traffic below on the roads as you're headed to the airport. How much time would you save? Well, the dream may soon become a reality, at least in the Windy City. United Airlines and Archer Aviation are partnering up to unveil a new commercial electric air taxi service. So the fully electric planes take passengers from a Verda port about three miles west of the city's South Loop to O'Hare International Airport in Chicago. It's revolutionary in form of travel. It will get you to the airport in record time. The company says a trip that would normally take an hour during rush hour, now just 10 minutes, and they just closed the Kennedy, so three hours versus 10 minutes, I think, in some cases. The company says the service expected to start in 2025. Uh, here to talk more about it, Brian Bernhard. He is the Chief Growth and Infrastructure Officer for Archer Aviation, the company partnering with United Airlines to debut these electric air taxis. Uh, Brian, thank you. It's intriguing because I sat in traffic even uh, today as they're doing more road closers in Chicago. So a quicker route to the airport. I don't know who wouldn't get behind it, but um, you might have some regulatory hurdles here. Uh, what do you expect the challenges to be in bringing this to fruition? For sure. Um, for us, we're working hand in hand with the FAA. It's certainly a lengthy and safe process, but it's something that we believe we can get done by end of 2024, early 2025, and we've been working with them almost on a daily basis. Tell us about the aircraft and once in the air. I mean, is it sort of like a helicopter, a hovercraft? I mean, what is it sure. and what goes into yep. it? Fully electric vehicle, one pilot, four passengers, has range up to 100 miles, and you'd be doing multiple 20 to 40 mile trips. So um, very much like a helicopter, but fully electric. And I'm reading that it is going to be cost competitive to ground transportation, so a taxi or one of the rideshare services. Do you know yet how much it will cost people? Yep. We want to make this services to as many people as possible. So for us, uh, at the cost of an Uber is, is the benchmark that we're setting for ourselves. And how much was that? Uh, the cost of an Uber. Oh, the cost of an Uber. Pardon me. Yep. Um, so why did you choose Chicago to debut this? What was the appeal oh. of the Windy City? First, the city itself is so transformational and welcoming um, these new forms of transportation. 
Um, also, we have tons of multimodal models that talk to us like what would be the best use of our service in these heavy, dense areas. So Chicago checks all those boxes for us. And we've had such great partners with United, the CDA. So for us, we want to go into markets that welcome us. And for sure, Chicago has been you know, open arms to bring this transportation to life. And it sounds like you're eyeing some other cities, New York as well. Tell us some other markets that may have for the sure. potential for this. We've only announced New York and Chicago so far. We want to make sure we do a great job there in these really dense cities, but um, we'll, we'll continue to announce cities as we nail that service. The other thing, the component to this is power infrastructure, parking. How do you get to these places? Um, are you using yep. public transportation? What are some of the logistics involved? For sure. That's why we're announcing uh, now, because we have a, a journey from now until service in 2025. We've been working with ComEd. Uh, to make sure that we have the available power and we will continue that journey with, with ORD and ComEd, the CDA and all associated parties. Everybody wants to bring this to life. So we do have some challenges, but we will be able to work through them. How about the pilots for these aircraft? Who would they be? Where would they come from? For sure. Um, it'll be a different class than helicopter with less hours, but we have a very targeted program for them. So, um, you know, we'll be using existing pilots. We'll be using people that want to get into aviation. So this is a great vehicle to start with as you get into these larger, deeper airlines. So for us, we think it'll be uh, it'll, it'll attract some new people that that may have been overwhelmed by the amount of time and hours to get into aviation. This will be a, a shorter, more condensed program. The control is a little bit easier to learn and, and safer. So it's something we're super excited about. Who's your ideal customer, Brian? Uh, business traveler, anybody looking to save time uh, in an affordable way as well. This is safe, sustainable, affordable, and quiet. So, you know, you talked about your trip today to the office and how condensed it was. For us, you know, this one to one and a half hour trip in 10 minutes. If you're looking to get into the city center or at really anywhere around Chicago, if you want to save time in an affordable way, this is definitely for you. I'm glad you brought up safety because I think that would be, you know, one of the questions I would have. I haven't seen these aircraft fly before. I'd be a little nervous getting on it. Um, how long has the plan been in works? How many safety um, scenarios have you guys worked this thing through to be ready for a launch in 2025? For sure. I mean, safety is ingrained in our culture. It's our, one of our biggest core value. Um, you know, to, to certify the vehicle is something that the FAA has put put forth a very rigorous safety process, then we're happy to uh, work with them on. But safety, we have 500 engineers who have been working on this for multiple years. So safety is our number one priority. I think we certainly share the same uh, passion for safety. And if you weren't feeling comfortable here, we want to make sure we are. So uh, it's something that we're working hand in hand with the FAA. We have 500 engineers working on it. And there are zero points of failure uh, for this vehicle as opposed to helicopters, which have potentially hundreds of points of failure. So very safe. How close are you to FAA certification on this? Uh, we're targeting end of 24, early 25. All right. So if Archer is actually on schedule to launch their commercial taxi in 2025 in Chicago, let's go to the weekly chart. The pullback to say the $5 450 area will be an opportunity to go long again hitting this price target at ten dollars uh, within the next six to twelve months this will take them back to the IPO price and as they launch in other cities look for price eventually take out the all-time high near $19. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Please like the video.